What's going on, Team 3D? Just went and picked out my mail. Hope you guys had a fun Thanksgiving. Anyway, let me show you guys how I dominate my day when I'm off. I'm gonna give you some hints on how you could discipline yourself and dominate your day when you off. Okay, guys, this is how I dominate my days. By the way, doing. I hope you had a fun Thanksgiving, but I didn't have a. I didn't have a break during Thanksgiving. It wasn't an off week for me. It's never an off day for me. In fact, the off days for me are the days where I get to even do the most work, because during a during a school week, like I say, I'm in school from eight o'clock in the morning to nine o'clock at night, working and going to class back and forth. So my off days is not the time for me to relax. It's the time for me to dominate even more. Like I said, every single day should be dominated. And thank God I had. I was off. Saturday, Sunday, right? Then Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then Saturday, Sunday again. So that was up to five days, I believe. One, two. Anyway, that was a lot of days for me to uh, focus on developing myself. Every single off day, I feel is an opportunity not to relax or rest. I sleep and I die. It's an opportunity to optimize myself, to better myself. But like I said, I'm always competing with the Jonathan of yesterday. Always. Um, and luckily enough, you know, Bless God, I, I was I was able to to learn a lot of things during these off days, from the reading and the meditating and the self the soul searching, and I feel like it's not only it's a new Jonathan, but it's a beastier Jonathan, it's a stronger Jonathan, it's a mightier Jonathan. And you guys all know me if you're in Team 3D, my lords out there. Every time I get better, I want to share it with the world. Every time I learn something new, every time I optimize an aspect of my life, I want to go ahead and show the package to my subscribers and my followers. Uh, I don't want to wait till I get to the top. Of the mountain before revealing my secrets. No, I want to reveal my secrets as I go. This way, some of you guys become better than me and it pushes me to get better. I love competition. That's why I don't mind having rivals. And I don't mind, you know, giving out my secrets. But anyway, this is how I dominate my day. Doing my off day. By the way, I'm doing this new routine. For those of you who are new and don't know about the seven days to live, let me just uh, give you a, a, a quick briefing on seven days to live. I started in January last year. Actually, this year, 2012, when I came out of this crazy depression. Um, I break up my life into seven day cycles, seven days to live. I pretend as if I only have seven days to live from Sunday, which is day one, to Saturday, which is day seven. And I do this throughout the whole year. There's 52 weeks in the, in the year, so I see it as if I have 52 different lives in a year. Uh, and when the first cycle is over, I begin the whole new cycle of seven days. And then the whole new cycle of seven days. So when I set goals, even when I have long-term goals, I break them up into sub goals, short term goals that fade within seven days. So if I'm trying to put on weight, I don't say I'm trying to put on 20 pounds. No, I go, how much weight can a man put on in seven pounds? That's my goal for these next. I mean, how much weight can a man put on in seven days? Then that becomes my, my body weight, my body goal for the next seven days. Uh, if I'm trying to like increase my deadlift, I think how, how, how high can my deadlift go up in seven days? What's the max, you know, that you can put on naturally? And that becomes my goal for the next seven days. That's how I break down my goals to keep myself motivated and to never burn out. Because if you keep thinking of long-term, long-term goals, eventually you quit and burn yourself out. When you give yourself seven days, it gives you a chance to restore yourself and start fresh. And every time a new cycle begins, I pretend as if it's a new Jonathan. It's a new life. Uh, the old Jonathan died. It's a new Jonathan. And then I switch on my routines. I have a new, I have a different daily routine every seven-day cycle. I have a new, I have a new everything. I love it. So every Sunday is like the a, a rebirth for me, and I need that because it keeps me going. A lot of you guys wonder how I manage work, uh, two jobs. I quit Kroger, so now I only have two jobs instead of three. Uh, YouTube, if you want to count as a job, that's three jobs now. Uh, a baby, uh, my life, and at this, and at the same time, I manage all of this, and I still have my, I still have my, my bodybuilding, you know, working. I'm still, you know, putting on muscle. Uh, I'm still motivating people out there. I'm still um, replying to messages here and there. I'm still managing my, my, my personal life. I'm still having fun, you know. Uh, believe it or not, you know, um, dominating your life does not mean living a pathetic life. I'm still having fun. In fact, I got black ops too. I'm about to get on that soon when I get home. Um, it's just a matter of, of, of knowing how to structure your day. Uh, what else? I mean, I, I have time to, to have fun, to go to the gym, eat my food, get my diet, and dominate. And I do all of that. How? Because of the 7 8 Seven days to live thing, it keeps me refreshed every time, and I'm never bored. What else do I fucking do, man? I try to sit back the other day, not to brag, I try to sit back and see how much I'm doing, you know, that the average person doesn't do, just so that I could double it. So I could, like I said, I'm always fighting and racing against myself. So everything I'm, I'm citing out there, to me, it means nothing, you know? Uh, going to school and, 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 and um, working three jobs and, and taking care of, you know, 
of a daughter and myself and you guys know bodybuilding lifestyle is no joke and and still having time to you know um to rest and cook and play video games and you know do the stuff that 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 makes me happy how do i fit that into a day it takes a lot of trial and error and i finally got the perfect routine i'm about to share with you guys um but i'm, I'm gonna do that in the next video i'm gonna show you guys the layout the layout for my fact fuck the next video i'm gonna do it right now in a long ass video if you don't want to watch you could also you could uh dislike the video and move on i'm only about serious people people that are serious about getting their lives back on track and dominating their their world like i always say every single being out there has a throne with their name on it and it's covered in spider webs because they're not they're not sitting on it and their crown is covered with spider webs and dust because they're not putting on top of their heads they're home playing video games all day because they believe that they're you know they're nobodies and they have no purpose you have a purpose you're a fucking king that's your fucking purpose find your territory rule over it period 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 i don't want to hear it all right uh this is part of what keeps me on track let me show you guys this is my seven days to live folder right just a, a simple folder i got that at the 9s store right uh see from saturday from sunday to saturday this is for last week by the way it was from 11 18 november 18 to november 24th right uh and i just put sunday monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday i have like a map of my week in front of me and at the end of each day i put the highlight of the day what was the most important thing that happened on that day right kind of like documenting the chronicles of the king all right let me show you guys this these are the three most important sheets of paper that i currently have to help me rule my day the first one is my weekly planner right from sunday all the way to uh saturday right and i already have my schedule this is my busy schedule guys from eight to nine i wasn't joking uh i have school class school class work work school uh work school gap in between and in those gaps see this allows me to map out my day guys like i said life is a war right life is a fucking war and um you're a general you're the, you're the commander in chief you're the soldier you everything you are your own everything a general cannot go nowhere without his map a general gotta have a map it's common sense well today we don't need fucking maps of like african shit you just need a map of your week this is my map i'm a general this is my map i get to see what's gonna happen on monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday and i get to plan according to that i look at my gaps right this is why i squeeze in my meals this is why I squeeze in the gym. I get off work at 9, and I go straight to the gym. The cl gym closes at 10, so I go to the gym somewhere down here, and I cook, and I go to bed down here. Same thing. The next day tomorrow is Tuesday. Same thing. I eat in the gaps, do my homework, and go to the gym in those little gaps. And then I also plan my fun time, you know? Like on Fridays, for example, that's when I play a shitload of video games. Because see, from Thursday, Thursday and Friday, I have a lot of free time. I pick out my daughter around this section here. I'm going to fill it out in, in, in a minute. Because like I said, every week I have a new... I made a lot of copies of this. Pick out my daughter here. Spend time with her Saturday and Sunday. And um, I also go to the gym on those days. But anyway, I have a picture of my, of my, my week. It allows me to plan. Plan my pleasure. Plan my... my uh, when I pay my bills. You know, like I said, all my bills are paid. You know? A lot of you guys see low budget anymore. So you think it means, it means no budget or a broke budget? Nah. Being broke simply means you work for every penny you, you know, you, you will fucking spend. Nothing is handed to me. Um, but, um, yeah, so I, I plan all these things over here. Make sure all my bills are paid. Not liking in anything. Thank God for that. So make sure you have one of these. That's the first thing you need is a weekly planner. From 5 o'clock in the morning to like 1.30 in the morning, whatever, based on your schedule. So that's the first thing you need. I call this one the... Uh, the Team 3D map, weekly map. The second thing I use is my daily routine. You guys remember that if you're an old subscriber. I just pick a piece of loose sleep paper. By the way, one of my subscribers sent me, uh, uh, he was saw one of my videos when I used to show the, my, my daily routines, and he actually made a, a better looking one for me on Microsoft Word, because I don't have time. He made it on Microsoft Word, nice template, sent it to me, and I was so happy. Unfortunately, I sent him an email. Uh, that, that daily routine was outdated. That was from like, 20 lives ago you know like the my seven day cycle from like a long time ago and like i said every week i have different daily routines so i'm gonna i hope you're watching this video if you still want to help me out just um you could use the the same template but with the new stuff that i added to my daily routine i put this, this one from friday for example right this was my last week friday 
I don't know if you guys can see. Up here, I put the date, Friday. Over here, the most important thing everyone should put is the obsession. It keeps you focused. My obsession, obviously, is war. You guys know warfare, battle, conquest, conquering, all these things. That's my obsession, so I put it right there. Why? Because it keeps me focused. I don't do any things. When I, when I go to my planner and I plug activities and daily routines and shit, I don't put anything that's nothing to do with my obsession. The law of focus. I remember the quote from Thomas Edison, how he said that. Sorry, the memory card died. Remember the quote from Thomas Edison, how he said the difference between him and other people is that other people think about many things during one day, but he only thinks of one thing, and that's what made him successful. Guys, you have to learn how to eliminate the bullshit and distraction in your life. Even if you want to play video games, play games that has to do with your obsession. Everything you do has to be narrowed down and tailored according to your obsession. So even the games that I play have to be about war. You know what I'm saying? So that's just my example. Everything I do, movies that I watch, you know, I eliminate anything that has nothing to do with my, you know, with my obsession. Because my obsession is my passion and it's what's going to get me far in life. So anyway, so I, I write it over here. This way when I write my to-do list at the bottom here, I know everything in my to-do list has to be tailored around this. On the right side, I have like ra random boxes. By the way, I make one of these every single day. Uh, biography of the day. This is my of the day section because every day I do seven different things, right? biography of the day every day i read a biography you know uh i like playing chess because it's, it's kind of like a strategic war game so every day i watch a famous chess game to kind of like learn strategies from like the, the pros and the, the grandmasters of you know of history every day i watch a battle i learn about a battle of history a decisive battle the greeks the romans whatever a battle that shaped history and i learn strategy from the commanders and the leaders and the mistakes and blah 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 uh I read uh, war poems. I love reading war poems. They're, they're motivating me. They're very inspiring, especially the old ones of like the Greek days and the Egyptians and stuff like that. Uh, I watch, uh, I study the Bible a lot. Over here I have a section where I study a passage, you know, one or two passages about war. Like I said, I read everything. You know, I'm not religious, you know, I'm not a Christian, I'm not Muslim, I'm not any of these things. But, I, you know, I'm, I'm a very, very focused person and if information is somewhere, I would seek it. I don't care if it's, if it's at the bottom of the earth. I don't care if it's in hell. I would go down to hell and find information. I'm an information junkie. And the Bible is full of stuff, you know, to to um, to better your life and things like that. As long as you remove the religious aspect. Um, anyway, so uh, at this section, if you're making this, this daily routine for me on Microsoft Word, you're making a template, just remember to include the biography. The, the Just don't don't name. Don't name the, the squares. Just put the squares because every week. I'm going to make copies of the, the, the page you send me. And every week I'm going to have different daily things to do. So don't write anything. Just put the seven boxes. Um, my obsession. Just put like a box here. I'm going to write war. Uh, over here I put the wisdom section. That's when I, 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 I try to put seven. I try to learn seven different wisdom things a day. I read. I watch videos. Biographies. Whatever. And I try to write down seven different things that I learned. And I put them down here. God it's so fucking hot in this car man. I'm about to leave. Over here, I put the rewards of the day. I call it spoils of war. Uh, rewards of the day. This is where I um, I put, like, before the day begins, that's the first thing I do. I actually write down um, the fun things that I want to do that day. The very fun things that I want to do. And the reason why I write them down here is because I call them neutralizers. Watch my video on the neutralizer. What I do is, um, for every activity that I have to do but really don't want to do, I neutralize it. Meaning... If I have to do my homework at 10 o'clock, then at 10.30, I'm doing, like, fucking Skyrim or Call of Duty. It's a neutralizer. This way, uh, you know, it's kind of like, you know, you, you, you reward yourself. So, the sports of war today, I'm going to put, like, Black Ops 2, uh, fucking uh, Assassin's Creed, whatever. Whatever I want to do, gym, you know, all the fun things that I want to do, uh, hang out with a girl, blah, blah, blah. I put it down here, and I make sure they serve as neutralizers, rewards. I only do them after... Completing an important task like homework or bill paying something. I don't want to do Then on this side Over here I put um, my, my, Oh my memory card is almost full on this side right here. I put YouTube videos That's what I know I'm videos. I got to make for you guys based on your questions down here is my to-do list Over here is the seven books that I read every day guys. I'm sorry. The memory card keeps dying on me I read seven books a day not not the whole books. I only read seven pages of seven different books a day. I have a lot of books. And I write it down over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Once again, you could put that in a template. You know, just put books and seven boxes. Don't write anything because every week I read different books depending on how, you know, which book I have. 
and we call it keeps dying i keep deleting videos guys i'm so backed up and so yeah the seven books are here uh seven pages just seven pages of seven books a day that's all i need and in a month i finished so many books it's ridiculous so if you're watching this and you want to make the template for me this is how i want it to be set up really appreciate it in the back i just put my report I just write down what happened on that day, you know, like the key things. I paid my bills. I did this. I met this person I haven't seen in a long time. Went to the gym. Blah, blah, blah. So, yeah, that's like the most important sheet, I would say. Because I use these every single day. And like I said, every morning, it just tells me what to do, man. You know, every morning, I, I fill in the blanks. Uh, all right. And the last thing over here is... Um, I, don't, I don't know what to call this shit. It's what I use to break up every hour of the day. Uh, I only do this when I have a lot of things to do, right? This, you don't have to make a copy for me. If you want to, you can. All I do is I make boxes. Watch my video on how I explain how uh, your whole life is really one day, but you have to break it up into small sections and you dominate each little by little, divide and conquer. I divide my life into seven days. I divide each seven days into one day. And I divide each one day into hours. It's common sense, right? So I have golden cars, golden hours for each hour hour of the day that I'm awake see here from 6 to 7 7 to 8 8 to 9 9 to 10 blah 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 blah. keeps going down and in each hour I plug in my task so I look at my to-do list oh I gotta do homework oh, I gotta go to the gym uh, and I just look at my you know my hours from 8 to 9 for example and I plug in what I gotta do now these shapes I just did it because I was bored it's really they represent time the circle is 15 minutes the triangle is five minutes the square or rectangle is uh, 10 minutes and uh, the crescent is 30 minutes. So let's say from 9 to 10, right? This is 9 to 10. Let's say I already completed these hours from 9 to 10. Uh, I plug in shit. If I'm not in class or I'm off, I don't just sit home and play video games or just, you know, you know, waste my life. No. I figure, hmm, I want to make meals. That's going to cost, that's going to take about 30 minutes. So I put it right here in the 30 minute section. And I have uh, 30 minutes left, which is breaking up into, you know, those little sections here. Let's say I want to... I don't know, we plotted some emails, it's gonna take me 10 minutes, I write it in a, in a 10 minute section. Anyway, so I just fill these in and I make sure each, my day, at the end of the day, this is a blank sheet bottle, at the end of the day, this shit is loaded with activities. Cause like I said, there's eight hours, there's 24 hours in a day, we spend eight hours sleeping, average, eight hours at work or in school, average, what's the other eight hours? Wasted. We, we spend that shit on, on phone conversations, on Facebook, that's why I deactivated my Facebook, cause it fucking eats up my time. And we just spend those, that time bullshitting. So with that, I have those eight hours of bullshit transformed into eight hours of productivity. And all of this shit right here, that I'm showing you guys, this is just one day. Now multiply that, like I said, by 365 days of the year. No sleep. Don't be surprised when you see Team 3D taking over the fucking world, man. That's why I want you guys to be on this. I want you guys to, to follow me on this. I want you to optimize your life. You don't have to do it exactly the way I'm doing it, right? But at least have like a structure. Standardize your day. Your, your break up your day to hours and plug shit into every single hour. You know, you have too much potential to be wasted. But anyway, I spent 20 minutes making this video. So I hope, you, I hope that shit really helps you guys. I hope you follow my advice because I'm tired of getting messages about people saying, oh, I don't have purpose, I'm depressed. I understand you, but if you did follow my advice, you would have purpose. You will find your purpose. Even if you don't have purpose, follow your passion. Follow your obsession, and eventually you'll discover what your purpose is. And if you already found your purpose, then you still need this shit to keep yourself on track and from procrastinating or going backwards. Anyway, I hope this, guy, this video helps. Um, uh, the guy that's supposed to be helping me, thanks for the help again, because you're doing this for free. I really appreciate that. And if anybody else wants to help too, thanks a lot. Uh, if not, I'll just keep doing it on loose leaf. I don't mind. No excuses. Team, no excuses. Uh, I gotta get shit done. All right, guys, going back to class uh, to work. Actually, I was on break and I went over. But dominate, right?